Ever wonder why your newsletters don't perform well? Yes! The truth is, most newsletters are boring, like guy in a suit talking at you for three hours boring. So how do you make newsletters exciting and write them quickly? Hey, this is Caleb with Curious Refuge, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write your entire month's worth of newsletters in only 20 minutes. This video is going to use a technique that I like to call the emotional sandwich. So grab your jar of mayonnaise and let's get started. This episode is sponsored by Oranges. Before we start, I want to encourage you to go download the free project files. You can find a link in the description of this video. So why are newsletters boring? Well, simply put, they lack a lot of emotion. You're not writing a newspaper, you're telling a story. And that story could be geared towards people who like fitness, or knitting, or dancing robots. Treat your email like the movie Inside Out. You have to have emotions like joy, fear, anger, and surprise in your newsletters. I know that surprise is not a character in Inside Out, but you get the idea. These characters will surround your content to create an emotional sandwich that will help people remember your key business links. Now, your brand voice might not incorporate all of the emotions found in this tutorial, and that's totally fine. What's important is that you're consistent with the emotions that you do bring out in your newsletter. So for example, Curious Refuge, because we are a positive and optimistic brand, we don't include links that talk about fear or insecurity or anger, but rather we replace those with hope and encouragement. It just depends on whatever industry you're in. All right, so with the animated movie metaphor in the bag, let's move on to the tutorial. Step number one, upload your files to Google Drive. So once you've downloaded the free template over at Curious Refuge, all you have to do is double click on the file to unzip it and you will see this folder. And all you have to do with this folder is upload it to Google Drive. You can just drag and drop and there you go. Now you can go into the folder and we have to initialize each one of these documents. So just double click each one, open with Google Sheets, go to File, Save as Google Sheets, and we'll do the same thing for the Word document. Just double click, open with Google Docs, and go to File, Save as Google Docs. And that brings us to step number two, curate your links. Now, there are a lot of ways to gather links for your newsletter. One way is to just have a running list on your phone and anytime you come across a link, just add it in. You can also ask your community or you can use this super awesome tool called Feedly. I'll show you how to use it. So Feedly is an awesome tool that allows you to look for articles that are published in certain topic categories. It's essentially an RSS reader. So let's say we had a food blog and we were looking to populate content for our culinary newsletter that goes out every single week. Well, all you have to do is log in to a free Feedly account and click create a feed. We can just call this feed cooking and hit save. And now we can add content. So if you hit add content, you can search by topic. So we'll just do cooking and click it. And now it'll give you a list of people who regularly publish content in that topics category. And you can just go in here and follow them. If your newsletter has different topics, you could create new feeds for each one of those categories. There's also some advanced features in Feedly like Google keyword alerts, you can search Twitter, and there's also this crazy AI tool that will automatically sort through all of your articles. It's pretty crazy and I definitely recommend subscribing to this service if you write newsletters on a regular basis. So once we've created a feed, all we have to do is click in and we can select the first one. And let's say this one's not good enough. All we have to do is hit the J key to go to the next article. And let's say this one's good. You can just hit S to save and move on to the next one. So all you have to do is do this really quickly and you can skim through hundreds of articles very, very fast. Once you've curated all of your feed, you can just go to read later and go through and just scan the articles to see which ones make the most sense for your newsletter. You want them to be the very best articles possible. And on that note, it doesn't actually have to be an article. You could share a link to a YouTube video or an Instagram post that you liked. What matters is that the content is good. Step number three, update the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet I've created here is a simple tool for creating four newsletters a month, basically one for every week. 
So all you have to do is change your newsletter name to your newsletter. So for example, we could call our cooking blog, let's say Cooking Weekly. I'm sure that name is taken already. Uh, our company name could be Cooking World Land Place. Sure, and go in and select the date of first send. So for this one, we'll just say that next Tuesday is when we're gonna send our first email. This tool will automatically populate the link for the three following newsletters as well. So you can see here that we have four different emotions, joy, surprise, fear, and anger, along with company content. So company content is any content that you've created on your company's website. And I should note that it doesn't actually have to be new content. This could be old content that just did very well and you wanna reshare it again. That's totally fine. So like I was saying earlier, if any of these emotions don't resonate with your community, you can change them. So for example, instead of fear, you could call this inspiration. What matters is that you're consistent with the emotions. So now what you're gonna do is go through your curated list of articles and add them in here as it makes sense. So after reviewing this article, I think the emotion that I can pull the most from is surprise. So we're gonna add this to the surprise section. So all you have to do is copy the URL and paste it into the surprise link number one. We'll come up with a title. Let's say the surprising reason why you need a standing mixer and go in and write a one to two sentence description about the article. So now it's your turn. Go in and add all the links. It should only take about 15 minutes to add in 25 different content pieces. All right, with the spreadsheet populated, it's time to move on to the next step. Step number four, generate your newsletters. So with the copy written, we're gonna to go to our newsletter creation sheet sheet <laughs> right here, and we will go to add-ons and document studio. If you don't have document studio, just click get add-ons, search document studio, and select it right here to install. So we'll go to add-ons, document studio, and open. We'll make sure Google document is selected and hit change, and we will select our newsletter batching template and hit select. You'll notice that it found 62 markers, that's a good sign. And we'll figure out a name for this file. We'll call this newsletter templates for April. And the export format we will change to Google document. And now all you have to do is go to finish and merge, select merge documents now and hit run. And that brings us to the last step. Step number five, edit your newsletter on a weekly basis. So to find your newsletter, you can just scroll to the end here and select this blue text right here. It's also inside your Google Drive folder. So we see here that we have our cooking weekly email batch. And if we go through here, you'll see that the newsletters have the date of send already attached to them. They already are formatted and they have spots for you to replace the text. It has your titles, it has your body copy, and then a link. So all you have to do is copy and paste these into your email provider, like MailChimp, for example, and just reformat them each week. So it should only take you about five minutes to put together each newsletter. I've also included some steps to completion down here and some examples of great subject lines. All right, and that's all there is to it. Now you're ready to start pumping out those newsletters. If you wanna learn more about increasing your open rate, go ahead and click the link in the description of this video. And if you've ever dreamed of launching your own business, go check out The Curious Millionaire. Our online adventure will guide you through the entire process of testing and launching a business. From idea to profit in the most exciting online program you've ever seen. All right, now all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and get ready for today's bonus tips. It's usually best for newsletters to go out between Monday and Wednesday. Newsletters should go out every single week, no exceptions. You want to get people into the habit of looking for your newsletter in their inbox. This has been Caleb Ward with Curious Refuge. We'll see you next time.